All right, T. We have we have had two and a half days of sunshine straight in a row, man. I got uh, loaded out the pile a while ago down here. We all seen several videos right over there. They got don't have but a gravel pool left. Not even a gravel pool left laying there. I'm walking away from. Them. I'll get it later. Going back up on top of the hill up here where uh, where Kevin is. Now we relocated up there. We kind of had to. That's what you got to do when the ground does this when it's this wet. You just have to kind of keep moving around on the track. And as you open spots up, other spots will dry out. And uh, and then you kind of go back, and stuff like that. Kind of keep, kind of keep running there. I talked to a logger this morning. Said, and see, today's the seventh of January. He told me that he has not worked since the Wednesday before Christmas now. So he's been down for a uh, for a pretty good while. Fortunately, we have been able to work and move wood despite the amount of rain that we had. We can't run wide open, but it's just, we were able to kind of work, which is a lot better than a lot of other people have done, I believe. But you can see, you see all the brush laid down everywhere. There's brush everywhere laid down to where we can run and you can probably tell the water on the ground down there too. So that's how we're able to kind of keep running just like that. So going all the way up here on the hill and then I'll get the camera. I'm gonna show y'all the, we got the 630s running today, the 635 with the duels on us running. I'll get some footage of them, both of them running there too. And and so it'll or be a good video. I'll be right back. And I'm about to get up here. This is a nightmare trying to dodge all these stumps because we don't like to track these machines on the road, on the haul road, because when you cleat them, it just it breaks that breaks that seal you got on the road. As you can see how dry the road is right there right now. Yeah, I gotta watch that style right there. Bye bye, that's it. Kevin's got me a good pile going up here. There's the 635 over there with the duels on it. It's over there. Boy, it's still wet up here. I like to never got Scott turned around while I go with that piece of load he had on him. Oh my goodness. Every second of every hour that goes by though, it dries a little bit. That's the only good thing about it. Uh, there's Chad on the 635 over there. I'm going to, uh, in this video, I'm gonna walk over there to the scooter. There's so several people's got some big time misconception on that machine and the duels that are on it. And I'm gonna explain some stuff about it. And I'm gonna show several things in the video too. So y'all stay tuned for that later on. turn a truck around over here it's uh that's dad right there let's see how he does when he gets up here What's the best way to do well? i don't know if you get over to your right over there you're gonna get stuck i had to help frank so i don't know that may be the best thing what you're gonna do there Get it right there. I don't know. We'll see. If not, Cotton Top 3's tow service will get you, baby. I 
that's fine. I'll I'll take that. You can get turned around. That little Chad's still coming on around to Kevin over there. Yeah, Dad's gonna make it. I can hear that mud in those tires right there. All right, I'm gonna have to get him now. I just I just showed him as much as I ran out of boom. Well, I tracked for a while, and then I just spun on around and shoved him. Thought he'd be able to go, so yeah, he's been he's able to go. There ain't nothing wrong with the camera. It's just a haze on my glass right there with the with the sun coming in. I'll take it though, I'll take it. Let's eat some lunch, y'all. So we're gonna do a little tire, skitter tire education here right quick. Now see these rims bolt together right there. What's your thoughts on it, man, after running a couple of days with it like this? You can't dodge the stump. Yeah, you hit every stump you go by, don't you? If it's got any kind of little bite out there, the thing does great, but when some tires slop over, you know, mm -hmm. that thing's just sitting on top of the ground and spin. But as long as there's a, a little bit of a, a bite out there here, there you go. So the way these things work, y'all, those tires are supposed to touch right there, despite what a lot of y'all know about dual wheels on pickup trucks or tractors or anything like that. Those tires are made to touch. What you have to do is, is you have to let the air out of the, ins the inside tire and you let the air out of the outside tire. Then you bolt them together. You bolt them together with all them bolts right there. Y'all with me now? All right, once you get them bolted together then, and you put the air to the inside and we run 50 pounds of air in those tires right there those right there and even these right here got 50 pounds of air in them so of course the outside tires are brand new so they're a little bit taller than the inside tire you can see the height difference so then once you got that tire aired up everything's bolted together then you take and air this tire up we put 45 pounds of air in those tires right there. No, go ahead, you fine. The thing, so those tires, there's no gap in between them whatsoever because if there was a gap in between those tires, <laughs> you would have you would have every chunk of wood, every rock, anything that would fit in there, you wouldn't be able to do it. So it's not like a, you've got to have it. They got to be up against each other is the way that they work. Because they wouldn't, uh, You blow them out. You blow, yeah. You would, you would, you would. Uh, people ask too about, do we have any tire problem? We rarely have any tire problem. Those tires have got steel in them right there. They're made to run through those limbs and and hold up. But um, can you? It don't turn as good now either, does it? No. It don't, I could it, tell. It ain't, it ain't too bad, but it don't turn as good. If the ground was, if the ground was harder, you probably wouldn't be able to turn it around. Cause you can tell them back ones drag a good bit when you yeah. when you do it. So I hope that makes a little bit more sense on the duals, the forestry dual setup compared to like a farming setup or even on something like this right here. Cause if you have duals like this right here touching the bulge on them touching, they'll eventually get hot and blow out. That's not the case on them. They got to touch. Cause them tires are, are seated tight again. There's no space in between them right there. That's the way it's supposed to be.
So we got batteries charged up on the old drone here. The only problem with the phantoms are just too big. And this one here is, uh, I think it's five years old now. And I'm going to be swapping this one out here for much more longer. So, I hope that kind of clears up some questions that I had on the 635 and the duels because Lord have mercy there was some views on that first video Saturday that I posted and a lot of comments I deleted some comments off of it and things like that if I ever delete somebody's comment I usually tell them that I delete it when I go to delete it I usually comment on it so that so that they'll know it got deleted but uh we're going to be starting back the giveaways here for much more longer here too. This uh, calendar right here, this is the 2018 Eastern Loggers calendar. It's the one that y'all seen hanging up there on my wall of this whole past year. And I'm going to give this calendar away. It's still in perfect condition. And I know somebody would love to have this thing, even though it's a, you know, it's a 2018. Uh, somebody would want it. And... I'm going to give it away and at the end of 2019 when we roll into 2020 i'm going to give that one away too so be staying tuned uh on that i've got in this box right here there's four well there was four ones down in my shot right now four banners that uh are going to be hung up that y'all will be seeing and some uh in my shop down there that goes along with some of the rotovec stuff that i'm going to be doing uh, this year uh, tomorrow's video will be a hus farner video another hus farner video on uh on the saw it'll be just we're going to kind of dissect the saw a little bit and kind of look at it some and uh check it out so hope you enjoyed all that uh appreciate all y'all if you like my stuff please subscribe to me i appreciate that we'll see y'all later taters